And he has won titles in four different weight divisions. Damas y caballeros de Jagua Puerto Rico, the five-time world champion, the reigning, defending WBC middleweight champion of the world, Miguel Angel. He does a variety of things. Body punches, head punches. And he's been surprisingly effective with it, particularly against Sam Judah. And he wobbles Gomez with a left hook to the body. The trademark punch of Miguel Cotto. That almost looked like a jab to me. When you look at the marks already on Gomez's face, it suggests to you the authority with which Cotto is landing out there. Yeah, Cotto's landing a lot of punches. Most effective that hard stiff left jab though that he's letting. Good left hook to the body again by Miguel Cotto. I think he just nice. feels really comfortable in this fight. He just seems to be very relaxed and just having fun out there. I've never saw him so confident and, and, uh, and relaxed. And Cotto's treating this like a sparring session, Emmanuel. Yeah, because he, I don't think he feels that Gomez can punch and hurt him with any. One thing we know Cotto does get hurt. So, but the one thing he gets up and he fights. Margarita very seldom even gets hurt. Well, this is a knockdown of Gomez. Gomez looked at the referee as if to say, he didn't hit me with a punch, I just fell. That Cotto got credit for a knockdown without landing his punch. But I saw Mike Tyson get credit for a knockout against Carl the Truth Williams without ever landing a punch. Williams just fell down three times. Yeah, still hasn't been down from contact, but he has absorbed a lot of punishments in the first two rounds against Miguel Cotto. Gomez trying for more head movement now. Uppercut snaps Gomez's head up. His face. Right.
right hand lands for Cotto. The left uppercuts, jabs, or anything for the center. Well, he's fallen in love a little bit with the idea of doing more boxing since the Mosley fight. That was a left hook. Oh, Body shots like that are very difficult to weather. Now that's a real knockdown. Cotto came out in this round as though he wanted to test just how hurt Gomez is and whether he can get him out of here. Once again, to emphasize a point that Larry made in round two, Alfonso Gomez had never been knocked down and has never been knocked out in his professional career. And this despite the fact that in the Contender Series three years ago, he was fighting fighters who were naturally 10, 12, 15 pounds bigger than fighters. Well, this is reminiscent of what Cotto did to Carlos Quintana here in Atlantic City a year and a half ago. Quintana, who now has a title belt, a very skilled fighter, a guy who beat an outstanding young puncher from South America named Joel Julio, and Cotto annihilated him with body shots. You think Cintron could fight Gomez? Yeah, yeah, I know. They could, they could fight. Oh, the, the, right, yeah, they would be a good fight, but really, right, he doesn't have the power to stand in and trade with Joel Cotto. No, is Gomez it, showing it too much the, courage, Emmanuel, or, is, yes. or does he have no choice? I think his corner's going to have to stop this fight, because he's not the type of guy to He's getting hurt badly. This is the kind of stuff that affects your career. Yeah, and he doesn't have enough power to no uh, way and, and, and he's just being beaten to the punch yeah, consistently. Here, here, punch. Get up. Said it many times, Miguel Cota doesn't just beat you, he beats you up. Three fighters among his last eight opponents have not fought again. Just go out and throw everything. But that would seem to be an unwise tack to take. Down goes Gomez for the third time in the fight. He's a shell of the person who came into the ring. The doctor's gonna stop the fight. We're done. There will be no round six. Miguel Cotto will have a technical knockout. The dedication that he put forth and defensively he's doing quite well against Jennings. He really seems to reach out with those punches and that could be dangerous on a counter punch. Well, there's the left hook by Cotto. The only time... And to that end, something you were talking about earlier, Al, is the steady improvement of Cotto as a defensive fighter. David Jennings gets in yet another fight. Oh, the left hook.
go in this round. Final minute. Miguel Cotto. Yeah, he's done a lot of things really well. It's just he can't knock Mayorga out, so Mayorga <laughs> stays there. <laughs> what a showman. Ooh. That all you got, Miguel? Well, he better be careful. Yeah. Standing. Appreciative of the high entertainment. And oh! Oh! Mayorga is shot, and he's down! A delayed reaction knockdown! Oh! Goodness! He's in terrible shape. He's grabbing his hand as if something has happened to his hand. Yeah, he may have broken his hand. But Yorga, will he continue? He says, yes, let me continue. That is a game person. And remember, he was down in the 12th round against Shane Mosley. Almost a replay of that. They're all standing here at the MGM Grand. And this is what we want to see from Cotto. Oh, he's hurt again off a jail. And now he just stands there and that's it. He said, that's it. And Robert Bird has stopped it. It's I think over. he might have broke his hand in that combination that they exchanged. But don't take anything away from Cotto. No. That left foot hit perfect. And he pounds Foreman's face and knocks it back with him. This is a very good first minute for Miguel Cotto. This is the kind of start he would have shot, so your feet have to be stationary to throw it. Once again, Cotto knocks Foreman back with a solid jab. That time, Yuri stepped in. Hard right hand by Foreman. And the left hook. Sudden offensive rally for Foreman. Off the last two rounds, I would also observe, here's an excellent left hook by Foreman and an excellent left hook by Cotto. The observation, Cotto's left hook is making a comeback. Oh. Foreman apparently trips over a photographer? He gave up. No, he has, he has suffered an injury. Walk it off. Give me time. Walk it off, champ. Suck it up, kid. I think this is it, though. I don't think I'm going to make that. Was it just a fall? I think so. I think it's just fair. I think uh, his foot, his, his knee gave away. This could be the end of the fight. Foreman without legs. Your ankle? He's like Cotto without fists. <laughs> that knee. Yuri Foreman hobbling on the right knee. He's done. There's no way he can continue in the fight at this point. Miguel Cotto, I think, is going to get a victory here as it looks as though Yuri Foreman has a legitimate and serious knee injury. You want to go? How courageous is this? Or how foolish? This is the fighter we're watching here in Yuri Foreman. The 
crowd is in a fever pitch. The Foreman fans are in ecstasy because their man is fighting and trying to get through it. The Kono fans are in ecstasy because their man is closing in on a big win. Left hook knocks the mouthpiece out of Foreman's mouth. That was a brilliant uppercut hook by Kono. So much stronger than Foreman. Hammering him now. Yuri without footwork tries to fight back. Hard right hand by Foreman. High drama in Yankee And the towel comes in from Yuri Foreman's corner. And Mercanti does not have to stop the fight because of himself. But now, Joe Breer, Yuri's trainer, comes into the corner. So the disqualification becomes automatic at this point. Mercanti didn't want to stop the fight because of the wrong down. He's still trying to make him get out of now. Sometimes he, he hurts his opponents and doesn't finish them. Doesn't, it's like he doesn't have that killer instinct. I don't know if he's just being too cautious or, or just that killer instinct. You know, maybe that'll come with experience. You're time. talking about the Cesar Bazan yes. fight when he had um, Bazan first round. Oh, good uppercut. That hurt Rocky. Rocky really got stung. Man, that right on the nose. I mean, literally oh, yeah, right on that, the nose. That Rocky may have a nice bottom. Seems like he's bleeding already. Yep, yeah, he's no, already cut. cut. He, he, cut. he ripped that. There he is. He's cut. Yeah, he's cut. Rocky yeah. may have a quick, a quick chance to go get his britches sewn up because he may not make it out of the first round. There happens to be plenty of times I've not been noticed. That just ripped his eye yeah. open. And he's going to need stitches all over in his shorts and his eye after this one. And he's got to have a good cut man in the corner too. Martinez in big time trouble. And that's what the crowd came to see from their Puerto Rican champions. Ten seconds left, round one. Coto very methodically going at Rocky Martinez, who's been in a bad way from the get-go here. I mean, if you can't even keep your yeah, pants on. He's out of bounds. He's hurt. Rocky staggered he's out of bounds. He's, 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 he's not going to be able to go 12 rounds like that. I mean, the cut is in a very bad... Oh, oh, oh shot. Yes. It looks like he was trying to land the same body shot that he hit Joel Perez with, but it went a little bit low. It went right where the pants are ripped. And you know what? Rocky made opt to uh, look for a way out on this fight. He's got to fight. You see, Daniel, Daniel Santos hasn't even gone to the locker room yet. Supporting here, supporting his friend Miguel Coco. I'm gonna throw body shots. He should use a little bit of that uh, advice in his own fight. He should take the whole five-minute rest. I mean, that was a that was, that was low. Yes. We see the low blow. Kids, be very. Tell me, he was he was looking for that body shot, but he just went a little bit oh, low. Oh no! Boom! Very low. Yeah, he didn't get hit right in the uh, the precious area, yeah. but he, he was very close to it. Cotto looking to take him out, putting on a show for the local fans. Rocky falls flat on his face. The Rocky's PO. Rocky's ready to go. Yeah, he is. Cotto just letting it loose. The crowd loves it. In that first round, in the second round, he keeps punishing Rocky. Oh, where are you with the body shot? There's that body shot again. That's it. That's the same body shot that put Perez down. He's getting up. Just He's like Joel. Up. Just like Joel Perez in Fresno. There's no reason for Rocky to get up. No reason. 
Miguel Cotto. Love this fight. <laughs> Bell rings as Cotto has his back turned to Abdullayev. Abdullayev rushes across the ring as Cotto takes time to cross himself. I think Cotto has also benefited more from the transition to the professional style than has Abdullayev. Cotto. His career has developed more slowly than that of Cotto. Part of it was the move from Las Vegas and trainer Kenny Adams to 15%. Abdullayev, 4 out of 40. Which one will be able to break the other man's down, defense down front? So far, they're banging away at each other's elbows, arms, and gloves. Cotto blisters him with punches. That's our right hand. That's the right hand that I'm telling you about that I've been concerned about. So you're saying the hardest punch in the fight is Abdullah's right hand over the top. Definitely short, straight right hand. Hit the man on Abdullah, right between the Abdullah's gloves. down the stretch, brings much of the crowd to its feet, but Abdullayev hurt him twice with the right hand in that round. <laughs> if not after tonight, maybe never. But I'll just read something from the New York Post, my old newspaper. Boxing fans get a rare opportunity tonight to take their own. They've stopped here for this fight. An IQ test. An IQ test for fans. What were they watching and what did they... Do they want to see a freak show or a real fight? So it was supposed to be a great showcase for the rising Puerto Rican star. And it's the Uzbeki star, Abdullayev, who is applying pressure, pressure, pressure. Making Miguel go to work, backing him up. You know, all of those guys coming from those communist countries, the same as Kid Diamond, the body by Cotto gets the crowd. The young superstar is being tested to the limit by a guy who's beaten him once in the amateur. Cotto rips Abdullayev with a right cross. One difference between the two fighters is that Abdullayev never punches when Cotto is punching. Manny Abdullayev acknowledged yesterday he thought it'd be difficult for him to get a decision here. Is he fighting expressly a knockout type fight? Abdullayev with a big start in the sixth. We're only in the sixth, and already both fighters are taking a lot of punishment. Fight a fight in a long time, and the fight is only halfway over. And it's going to be a really, really tough road for him to go six more rounds at the pace of this guy pushing on him. Having to move all the time, because every time he stops, he gets subjected to that. Quicks out Paul and Sydney. It was after Abdullah had clearly won the first round. But it's hard to be in control when you're the one who's being pressured all the time. Good four punch response by Miguel Cotto there. I can recall Sugar Ray Leonard doing all the time. They're hit by a punch. This guy is just not going to go down. And you've got to adjust your thinking accordingly. I think the fight when he fought. Uh, Nadu Lovemore was a fight, was a very difficult fight like this, which I thought was a right. very good development fight. He went to the whole 10 or 12 rounds, but he had to do something similar to this. And I think without having those type of fights, he would not have been able to hold up on a thing at this stage the way he had. He got hit with some straight right hands that night, too. Yes. This is left hook to the body by Goto's face so far unmarked, except for a red welt on the forehead, and there's the combination. There's the combination. a very beautiful fight. That's the difference in the two fighters. You just don't see those kinds of combinations from Abdullayev when they're out in space. Abdullayev hits Goto right on the hip, a punch designed to slow him down. And busts him with a right hand after the referee had asked him to tactically and mentally. Okay. Very good fight, and this is all of those fights he's having. They're having four fights a year, which is a lot for a first-class championship-type fighter. And I think that's the advantage going into this fight for him, the experience that he has in activity where he's doing things automatically now. Probably. And Abdullah is going to check out of the fight, or at least ask for time. No, I think he wants to quit. I think he wants out. His right eye is shut. 
He's asking the doctor to look. He's done. Miguel Cotto has a big victory. And he fought his way to it. Great performance tonight. I'm very, very impressed. Tactical brilliance from a young fighter who showed patience, composure, and got through a rough stretch against a hard guy. And he's not going to meet any tougher guys. This is the reason to love boxing. No moment in sport matches this. Taking moment of suspense, it took a long time to clear, a crowded ring. Early on, it's Cotto who's the more accurate puncher. And the first minute produces more of a boxing match than some expected. And Cotto confidently steps inside and whips the left hook again. Miguel Cotto looks very sharp, very quick in the early going. And Antonio Margarito only throws 57 punches in a round. That's a slow round for him. He's showing tremendous respect for Cotto's skill and speed. Putting space between the punches. Now the left uppercut for Margarito. And he steps in in the corner and fires away. Both fighters have said hello in round two. What a round, round two has been. Wow. operation of Margarito's face right now. Margarito grinning like a jack-o'-lantern as Cotto tries to do surgery on his face. Body shot and a left hook upstairs from Cotto and another left hook. He's fighting a far different fight now than he was fighting in round nine of the first fight. Margarito's punches just don't have the same sledgehammer impact that they had in Las Vegas. Stop it, Doc. Is that stop it? Sorry, said to stop it. Oh, ah. It's over! It's over, and revenge is sweet. And Cotto's corner, Terry Olaya, interpreting a new trainer, Joe Santiago. And in Clotty's corner, a four in RA, and down goes Clotty at the end of round one, and Cotto has a rival point. He seems to be gaining a little confidence now. This is brilliant tactics by Miguel Cotto. This is ring generalship. Suddenly, the Miguel Cotto of old has emerged against an immobilized Joshua Clotty. Nine years ago. Cotto momentarily cutting off the ring on Floyd Mayweather. Miguel is fighting with confidence. And 
getting something done here and there. This is the plan for Cotto for sure. Corner Mayweather in the corner and try to land the gift of the the rope. Jab lands for Cotto. He has a well-timed jab. He's not quick necessarily. He can throw it at the moment when you don't expect it. And why would he go to the ropes if he has this advantage here? There's Mayweather hasn't here. really stopped Miguel's jab. Opponent. Good left hook by Cotto. Improvised it from an odd position. This is a much more competitive fight than was the case against Victor Ortiz in the first two rounds. What a determined effort by Miguel Cotto. Mayweather's allowing some body shots here, which could be a factor later in the fight. Boom! Cotto's putting a lot of emphasis on it. In the last minute, up Cotto makes his mark too. seems to be looking to throw. Left hook puts him down after a perfect counter straight right hand. And Cotto tries to grab and hold as Torres continues to throw. Cotto wobbly. Torres has a huge chance here for a big upset. He gets ripped again and down goes Miguel Cotto. This he may need more than anything else. That was a pull down. Let me tell you, he was hit with some harder shots early on. But this time he was actually right. Oh, Cotto badly hurt with a right hand that busted him straight on the top. Cotto focusing too much on the left hook to the body. And there Torres saw the chance to unload upstairs with the right. You just can't relax with a genuine puncher. Each time you got to realize I can't get hit. You're going to stand in front of him? Oh, oh tossing Cotto again with the right. And now Cotto holding on. Cotto backs away again without holding on. He's hurt the same way he was in the second round. If Cotto doesn't grab and hold, he may soon go down from a straight right hand. Cotto 24 out of 61. A little bit more of a working margin, perhaps. As Cotto gets hammered again, we're about to go to Harold Letterman's scorecard and can't go because the action is fast and furious as they trade punches at close range yet again. Round seven of a schedule 12. And both guys still looking for the knockout every minute of the way. Cotto was making a mistake. You land your left hook, you gotta come back with your right and another hook. You just can't stop at three shots. This guy will catch you right at, as you finish that left hook. Cotto catching Torres on the end of a punch again, and down goes Ricardo Torres. Showing extreme fatigue just before that combination put him on the canvas. And physically getting worn down. And referee David Fields is going to stop it. Miguel Cotto survives a life and death challenge from Ricardo Torres. Jim, a half hour ago, I speculated on whether Torres could make Cotto make something happen. Give us one of those melodramatic fights that people will remember. This is the fight of his life. Well, Cotto is trying to tell everyone what happened last October wasn't wasn't that I was fighting an inferior opponent. Oh, oh. Rodriguez, you heard Martinez! Eddie Roach has made me a great fight. Badly hurt, hurt Jim, left with a left hook. hook. Left yeah, hook hurt Martinez. Hurt. Almost went down. Almost went down twice. Fighting back is Martinez after being badly hurt by a Miguel Cotto left hook. 
in the early going. Cotto going to the body. Down goes Martinez. Fourth fight in a row that Martinez has been down. Can he finish him off in round one? Left hook and land. Say it again. Hurt Cotto. Brilliant left hook. Cotto is constantly in position to land his punches, and Martinez isn't because of Cotto's feet. That's what Freddie Roach said would be the difference. Martinez seen that that right, that right knee may be giving him some problems now, too. The guy he's dragging that right foot. What a foot lands again for Cotto. He's Martinez's out. leg is gone. He's out. Martinez's leg is gone. Second knockdown. And Sergio Martinez does not look as though the knee is functioning at all. Brilliant start for Cotto. Chance for a first round knockout. His knee is gone. His knee is definitely gone. That third knockdown. His knee is gone. That right knee is out of here. Sensational start for Cotto. And Martinez manages to make it out of the round. But Miguel Cotto is already completely in charge in Madison Square Garden. Right from the opening bell, Cotto took charge. Miguel Cotto has made a career of breaking his opponent's wills. Sugar Shane Mosley has never had his will broken. Something's got to give. He ran it chin. Tremendous right. left hook by Cotto. Tremendous right hand by Shane Mosley. They are trading shot for shot now as the action heats up. Big left hand by Cotto. Cotto has energy. Back to fighting the way he fought earlier. What a vicious struggle. Woo. Toughness and character don't always carry the day. But tonight, it's a two-to-one favorite. Let's go, we go! Just as was the case a month ago. Judah, by almost everybody's estimation, is quicker and has more hand speed. You look careful with that. Right now, particular wise, they have the shot. See that? And he gets caught with that a big left yeah. hand counter punch shot. Yeah, and Sam believes that he hurt Cotto. Yeah, that's what I said. But and he's going to go after him right away. Cotto comes back, crashing with a left hook to the body, but he is hurt. He has definitely been wobbled by that early left-hand shot, and Suda's hand speed has made its mark in the fight already. But Cotto's been hurt before, and has always fought back well. And now a low blow puts Suda on the canvas. Tight. Uppercut, so he has. Combination by Cotto there. He's far more free-handed as a combination puncher once he gets going. Right now, Cotto is boxing with Judah and doing a pretty good job of it. Keep in mind that Judah usually does his best work in the first half of the fight. He's got to fire something back. He's not shooting. There's a lot of... There it is. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of... That was a lot of opportunity to shoot the left hand. The round by hoping for the perfect fight. But that was a perfect... You're a champ. Hey, you were a champ at one time. Shake it off. says 
He is a brand name. Cotto is branding his name. Motherfuckers, know who's the best if it ain't that Joe, then it must be Lord Finesse. Hot, 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 hot damn, it's the return of the funky man. I'm hip to the game.